Good morning. So here we are off of uh, Highway uh, 60 and we officially hit the turnoff here. Right behind me here, we got the uh, sign there, Forest Road 422. Uh, we're gonna be turning up this way right here. We got about uh, 10 mile drive on Forest Road 422 up to the beautiful Monzano Mountains in the background right here. Anyways, uh, here with uh, Carlos, my brother. So yeah, we're doing it up right. Got three nights out here in the uh, Monzano Mountain wilderness. Yeah, it's gonna be a great weekend. Great adventure out here, man. Heck yeah. guys so we made it up here to the trailhead we're at uh, kaiser mill trail in monzano mountains so we're getting ready to start uh, we got about three miles up to the top here but uh, we're starting down here in an old burn area this fire came through i believe in 2007 uh, it's responsible for burning well over 10,000 acres so a lot of this trail here is exposed for the first half before we do hit the wooded area up towards the top heck yeah we're getting ready to start this journey off we got carlos uh back here in the background aka new mexico me so we're out here uh gonna enjoy this day and it's gonna be a little tough hike up to the top but man once we get there it's gonna be all golden it's gonna be great all right stick with us guys here we go starting this journey up up that sun we're at the elevation of 9,000 feet we've done about 800 feet in elevation gain and um, hit a nice little look out here this is looking out east and you can see looking out a little bit north uh, obviously in the background there we still see some more of that fire damage So here we are, got a nice little boulder field here. Yep, Monzano Mountains are part of the Rocky Mountain chain. And so that's why we are seeing some of these boulder fields here. I know this isn't the only one that lives in the Monzanos. There's another boulder field over there in uh, Ox Canyon Trail. So we made it to the top of the Crest Trail. We got to go off this direction to head up towards Monzano Peak. Still got about uh, half a mile to go. What's going on guys? So we hit a beautiful view here right off the Crest Trail. And we're pretty close to 10,000 feet I'd have to imagine now. So uh, the peak is 10,098 feet. What's up guys? So. Here we are, top of the world of Monzano's. Monzano Peak, baby. We summited. Here we go. The official elevation marker. 10,098 feet. This is looking out south. Taking a look out west. Gonna have a beautiful sunset tonight. Oh man. This is worth all that hiking. 
So what's up guys? Uh, here we are, night one. And uh, I brought up a portable camp light that is connected to my battery pack down here and it lights up really good. But it's dinner time around the campfire. And uh, here I'm having uh, chicken Alfredo with chicken. Uh, <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo with chicken, excuse me. But um, yeah, a little chilly up here tonight. Definitely chilly up here tonight. So it's a good evening. Get some nice hot coffee in here. Cheers. Oh, that's good. So here we are just chilling and there's a turkey coming in. I was just getting him to respond back to me. Let's see if he calls back. So here we are, we made it down to the water source here. Uh, this is a seasonal spring that runs here in the Monzano Mountains. Part of it's because we're at the end of uh, winter here. First part of spring. But here's uh, Carlos, my brother. What's up guys? We're gonna harvest some of this good tasting water here. And uh, yeah, we had to hike a little ways for it. This one definitely is about a mile out of the way, but you got to do what you got to do and that's what makes adventures adventures you know so yeah uh we're gonna take some of this water out we got the water bladder bags right there and we also got some uh water purification tabs so that way we can make this water drinkable all right guys there across the way is uh carlos what do we got there buddy we got a gallon of water harvested this is our first gallon that we um, got out of this little stream. What's going to help us out for the rest of the trip. We got a second water bladder to fill up. All right, so we are done harvesting our water up here. Heck yeah, man. What a treat, huh? Yes, what a treat. Yep, and uh, now we got water. We got water, and the crazy thing about this water hole, Carlos took a little walk down, and it's only running for about a stretch of 60 feet before it heads back underneath the ground. So that's that's how big of a blessing water is here in the southwest. So sorry about that guys. Fucking spider was on my hand. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, uh journey complete, man. <laughs> So here I am just kicking back on this rock. This is the view I got from uh, straight up above me. We just got some rain just a little bit ago. It was just a little squall came through and went in like five, 10 minutes. But looking out in the horizon, it definitely doesn't look like we're done. This is definitely a, uh, you could throw a siesta right here or take a nap. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Mm -hmm. Doing a Snickers bar out here. Yep, <laughs> just polished mine off. We're, we're doing it luxury style, I tell you what. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. After that long hike down to go get us uh, some water. Yes sir, that was a good hike, dude. Yeah, now we're secure. Yeah, you're doing good, man. Doing good.
Good morning. It's coffee time, yep. You know what motivates me in the morning is some good old coffee. This is a peach roast right here. It's actually the light roast, but it has some good uh, floral and citrus type uh, flavor profile. What's going on guys? Uh, coffee's finally made here and man, in a cold morning up at the uh, Monzano Mountains, just below the peak here at 10,000 feet, this coffee does as good, man. So what do we got going on here, Carlos? Well, um, from the Packet Gourmet, uh, the Tex-Mex uh, breakfast taco with sausage, I decided to doctor it up a little bit. Got a little jalapeno here, so I'm gonna uh, saute those just a little bit. Yep. But yeah, this is what we got going on. Just saute these just a little bit, just to get them a little soft. And then we're gonna add our breakfast Tex-Mex which is in here that I got mixed up. It's a scrambled egg mix, it has a little bit of vegetables. And yeah, put that to the jalapeno. The jalapenos are cooking nice and good there. Oh yeah. Yep. Got a nice sizzle in it. So I think my jalapenos are done to what I like. They're a little bit um, seared. Yep, looks good there, buddy. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour our packet in there. Heck yeah. You know, even though you're here out in the back country, uh, it's not all about roughing it sometimes. Sometimes it's just about doing it, you know? And even though you may rough it a little bit here and there, you know, this is this is beautiful stuff. This is what it's all about, you know, just getting into the uh, outdoors and, you know, just enjoying yourself, man. Come on. So we're on a nice little day hike and we are on the sunny side of things and hold on pause a second that my friends i think might be cougar shit and that is fresh oh yeah that's cougar scat i think that's fresh anyways uh we're on the sunny slope of things here and we're just Enjoying a nice day hike along Crest Trail. You got cougar prints there? Yeah. Well, for one, there is no coyotes on these high country. Yeah, that's an old dried up cougar print right there. You can see the other one right there. Yeah, that was cougar. Mountain lion. Oh yeah, getting ready to get to another summit view here. So here we are on our final night here in the beautiful Manzano Mountains and we are treated to one of the best sunsets uh, that anyone could see and that is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Just had a fantastic sunset. I'm gonna go ahead and head back into camp over here. Carlos is uh, probably getting a fire going. And man, three nights out here in the Manzanos and it has just been fantastic. 
I mean, just look at this. Gorgeous. This is looking down into Monte Largo Canyon. And just fantastic. I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you're new to the channel, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave any feedback. Uh, your support's greatly appreciated. Here we are walking in the camp. And uh, good stuff. There's Carlitos, New Mexico me. New Mexico me. Nice uh, crackling fire going on. And uh, here is a uh, good old trusty marmot tent. She has done me good in the outdoors. No complaints whatsoever. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, Carlos, we did uh, three nights out here in the Manzano Mountains, and it's just been fantastic. Thanks again, guys. Heck yeah. What's up, guys? So this is our final morning here. Got about maybe four miles back to the trailhead there, down at uh, Kaiser Mill there. So uh, beautiful camp. Uh, as you can see, we left uh, no trace. Everything has been picked up. Uh, camp Alex, we scattered our rocks from the campfire. So we're coming down the trail and we got a mule deer down here. Just grazing on some grass there. Got a buddy hanging out with them, but his buddy took off already. So, pretty cool. high point that you see right there in the dead center is uh, what we came off of. That's Monzano Peak. And uh, we came when we straddled up there, came down through the canyon. But uh, great hike, guys. And uh, where it is, is I got my beautiful family coming up here. Going to greet us with some cold drinks. So good stuff out here. Here we go. There's a good way to finish the trip. My beautiful wife and my handsome little boy. Hi, little boy. Come here. Come here. Come here, little boy. Oh. Oh. Get up in here, son. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, little boy. <sighs> That's a good way to finish the video right there, guys. Heck yeah. He's like, Tio! Go get Tio! Go get him! Whew. That's it, guys. <laughs>